Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rashad al attar I will talk today about acute pancreatitis. Pancreatitis means inflammation in pancreas associated with injury to exprime parenchyma. In anatomy, pancreas consists of stroma and the parenchyma. So stroma consists of blood vessel and ductal system. Parenchyma consists of two parts, exprime part and endocrine part. Primary injury causing pancreatitis occur in exocrine. What is the cause of acute pancreatitis? Remember mnemonic, I get a smash. I, idiopathic, G, gallstone, E, isanol, T, trauma, S, steroid, M, mumps and malignancy, A, autoimmune, S, scorpion sting, H, hypercalcemia, hypertriglyceridemia, E, ERCP, and D, drugs. So again, remember mnemonic, I get smashed for the causes of acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis can be classified into two phases, early within the first week and late after the first week, and according to severity, mild, moderate, severe, and can be classified also into two types, edematous and necrotizing. We'll talk now about severity scoring system. There is a specific severity scoring system in acute pancreatitis and non-specific scoring system. The specific scoring system, like Renson score, Glasgow, or Emory score, bedside index for severity in acute pancreatitis score, harmonious acute pancreatitis score, Hong Kong criteria. Non-specific scoring system, ICU scoring system, Acute Physiology and Chronic Health Evaluation 2 score, Apache 2, and SOFA score, Sequential Organ Failure Assessment. What is the sign and symptoms of acute pancreatitis? Patient will be represented by epigastric pain, relating to the back in about 50% of cases, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, fever, shell, hemodynamic instability, including shock, tachycardia, Sometimes respiratory distress and ERDS and peritonitis. The uncommon symptoms for patients with acute pancreatitis that may be associated with severe disease like gray turner sign and colon sign and pleural effusion. Gray turner sign it is a hemorrhagic discoloration in phlenic and the colon sign hemorrhagic discoloration of the umbilicus. The picture show it colon sign and gray turner sign. This is a mnemonic for Renson score, one of the most famous severity scoring system in acute pancreatitis. Renson score mnemonic at admission and after 48 hours from admission. At admission, remember mnemonic legal L leukocyte more than. 16,000 E enzyme AST more than 250 G glucose more than 200 H more than 55 and LDH more than 350. 48 hours after admission, remember mnemonic C hopus C calcium less than 8 hopus H hematocrit drop more than 10 percent O oxygen less than 60 millimeter mercury B Base deficit more than 4, bun increase more than 5, sequestration of fluid more than 6 liter. How we can diagnose acute pancreatitis? Most often established by presence of two of the three following criteria. Patient will be represented by abdominal pain constant with the disease, serum amylase and or lipase greater than 3 times the upper limit of normal and or Characteristics finding from abdominal imaging. Abdominal imaging can be started from X-ray, until CT or MRI. CT and or MRI of the pancreas should be reserved for patient in whom the diagnosis is unclear. Typical pain with normal enzyme or who fail to improve clinically within first 48 to 72 hours after hospital admission. 
or to evaluate the complication. The X-ray used in acute pancreatitis usually non-specific sign like generalized or local areas, sentinel loop, colon cut-off sign, renal hollow sign, calcified gallstone, pancreatic calcification. The role of abdominal ultrasound within the first 24 hours for gallstone and to rule out cholecystitis common by the dilatation. The CT abdominal contrast may reveal inflammatory mass, pseudocyst, or abscess. The X ray, as we said before, non specific or more may show some sign like column cut off sign, sentinel loop, and this picture showing calcification in case of chronic pancreatitis. This is the CT. This CT showing pancreatic swelling, lack of enhancement, and pre pancreatic fluid collection. And also, the CT showing pancreatic pseudocyst. What is the differential diagnosis of acute pancreatitis? Differential diagnosis include abdominal condition, systemic condition, thoracic condition, gynecological condition. Abdominal condition like perforated peptic ulcer, pillary colic acute, cholecystitis, cholangitis, mesenteric ischemia, ruptured aortic aneurysm, intestinal obstruction, gastric colon, pancreatic carcinoma, viral hepatitis, irritable bowel syndrome. Systemic condition like diabetic ketoacidosis, thoracic condition like pneumonia or ARDS, pyloritic pain, myocardial infarction, gynecological condition like ectopic pregnancy and salpingitis. What is the complication of acute pancreatitis? Complication include shock and renal failure, hypoxia, hyperglycemia, hypocalcemia, hypoalbuminemia. And this table shows the cause of each complication. How we can manage a case of acute pancreatitis? Management depends on severity and mild acute pancreatitis. Mild means no dysfunction of organ or local complication, functional score less than 3, or CT grading A, B, C, or CT SI index less than 2. Sphere acute pancreatitis, this means local complication or organ failure, or functional score more than 3, or CT grading D, E, or CT SI index more than 3. This slide will show pancreatic management checklist. Is so important. First, will evaluation to guide etiology and the management. We'll do right upper quadrant ultrasound to rule out cholesterol. We'll check calcium level. We'll check triglyceride level. We'll check liver function test panel. We'll review of medication used for potentially causative drugs. Regarding the resuscitation, we'll use same strategy as for septic shock. Moderate amount of fluid, vasopressor if needed. Avoid large volume resuscitation. Don't keep fluid balance more than 3 to 4 liters positive as it may increase the risk of abdominal compartmental syndrome. This is so important point. ERCP, not routinely indicated but may be considered if evidence of ascending cholangitis. If you find my markedly elevated pilgrope in dilatation of the common bile duct. Regarding the nutrition, in non-intubated patient, low fat diet, in an intubated patient who initiate won't run nutrition as soon as hemodynamically stable by either nidogastric or post by noric feeding tube. Regarding the pain control, can use acetaminophen or ketamine infusion. Opioid better to be avoided as it may worsen areas. We may consider metabolic resuscitation with ascorbic acid, thiamine, hydrocortisone if indicated. What is the indication for surgical management? Indication for surgical intervention if diagnostic uncertainty, non pancreatic causes like perforated viscous, infected necrosis, sphere, stride necrosis, symptomatic organized pancreatic necrosis. Thank you.